As such, more provocations could be in the pipeline in the coming weeks. And that's according to Seoul's defense chief, who also ruled out the possibility of deploying nuclear weapons on the peninsula and added humanitarian assistance to North Korea's most vulnerable people will likely be delayed. For more on the defense ministry's briefing at the parliament, Kim min reports. North Korea appears to be nearing the final stage of securing intercontinental ballistic missile capabilities. That's the assessment Seoul's defense ministry gave at a National Assembly briefing on Monday following Pyongyang's latest missile launch last week. It added that the North will likely carry out additional provocations as it seeks to perfect its nuclear missile capabilities. Defying international sanctions, North Korea fired off another missile last Friday that flew over Japan before coming down in the Pacific, covering a total distance of 3,700 kilometers. In light of the growing provocations, Defense Minister Song Young Moo said that Seoul is stepping up efforts to ensure that it shares control of Washington's extended deterrence assets. He ruled out the redeployment of tactical weapons, however. The minister said it would not be in the national interest and that the best option would be completing Seoul's so-called three key defense pillars, which include programs designed to carry out preemptive strikes when a threat is imminent and eliminating the North's leadership. Regarding Seoul's plans to send humanitarian aid to North Korea, the defense chief said he thinks they'll be put off until later. Sung said he had heard the government will likely postpone the aid, but added that he is not in a position to comment on the affairs of the Unification Ministry. There has been mounting criticism that the aid package could offset international efforts to pressure Pyongyang to denuclearize. Seoul will decide later this Thursday whether to provide aid worth 8 million U.S. dollars for children and pregnant women via international organizations. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.